Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down on the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important and not important to liberals, libertars, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT. Listener's discretion is advised. All right. And as I said before, I did not ask for subscribers. You're going to get me in trouble. Okay, you know, I know right now I got like seven subscribers and shit. I know that. But if once it hits a certain number, then I'm gravitating towards the masses of access, which will strike my videos. All right, there's people who try to make fun of me on the YouTube, but they don't understand who they're talking about. They're talking about a real G, original Gnosis, alpha type guy who is not a seven Kevin Samuels or anybody else on the internet. I gave tons of fucking email in my fucking um, inbox, in my, my Facebook, in my messenger, sending me links to everybody and every, anyone to do response videos. All right, okay. <clears throat> Let's get on with the video tape now here. Now, this video is, is about, because I know I'm pretty sure it's probably got deleted from off of Mafia's Knowledge. Please check my credentials down below before you run amok. Please check the credentials down below. All right, you know how to get on the Patreon. Um, you don't have to subscribe. Check out my fucking Patreon. That's more pre I'm more appreciative of the Patreon than it's YouTube because there's too much algorithms and these biased intentions and they thievery and the, I'm not doing all that. Okay, that's too much overhead. Instead, if I talk to you personally, you'll know who I am better, and you can spread spread the rumors about me, spread the news about me. All right, what's true and what's not true. Lots of people are monkeys out there. They'll be like, hear no monkey, see no monkey, speak no monkey. They'll speak the evils. They'll hear the gossip and the rumors and shit. They'll make fun of small things. They'll take pictures like this. Uh, and just, just blow it up out of proportion. Okay, You can make fun of me. I don't care about that. I'm not sensitive. But if you're sensitive, just get out of here. So let's get on with the video tape. Now this video is going to be about no money, no honey. I heard that shit way back in the 80s into the 90s. All right. And what that means is that it's the guys who basically tell his hoes to say that to to the Johns and the women are supposed to be like no money, no honey, because they're the biggest prostitutes. And so I get the pimp game, the real alpha shit from the pimps. And basically, you can talk to the pimps yourself. You don't have to hear it from me because I'm a I'm a walking prodigy. I travel to Ethiopia. I talk about polygyny. I talk about virginity. I'm the only one who does it on the Internet. I tell guys all the time, if she's not a virgin, you charge that bitch to the game. You say to her, no money, no honey. Because you are the services. You are the services rendered. So, let's say you walk up to a female. Next thing you know, she's, you find out, you make her smile, you make her giggle. You know, it's real small, small talk. And you give her your card. Okay? You talk to her for a little bit. Everything is written. You, we all virtual now. In the, in the old days, it was easy. It was easy to walk up on three females and to say what kind of services I have and say, hey, you give me a call if you're interested. Yada, yada, yada. It's not about looks. It's about pleasure. It's about seeking the things that you need for services rendered. If you do this, then you're alpha. You don't marry women and all that. You don't get committed relationships. Your employees, you don't marry. You don't marry your employees. So you have to say that. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, white women are definitely better in bed than black women. I'm going to say that right off the top of the head. I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Uh, uh, women drink the nozzle more than the, what black women do. Okay, all right? That's common sense. So you already know how nasty white women are. They be sticking bottles up in their pussy, sticking animals and shit in their pussy and shit. Black women don't do such a thing like that. But understand this. I have experience. You guys just don't have. Even more than Kevin Samuels. I don't even need to know the man. I, I'm telling you right now that most of you guys out there are beta, beta alphas. You do not, you do not, you do not even fit in the criteria of being an alpha. Don't even think about it. When I talk to guys in my inbox, I said, no money, no honey. Do you know what that is? Do you know what the pimp game is? Or sure, you may have read Tyreek Nasheed's books, but he's a fake. He's a fraudster. Why would you read it? I like his books myself. I read his books to Art of Mackin. I loved them. I believed in it 50%, but he was missing a lot of elements, a lot of content that was missing. From where I came from, what I used to do, <laughs> I got the pimp coat. I got the Fubu Johns. I got the hat. I got everything you probably much, pretty much need to see, okay? But, of course, I'm old school. You have to keep it old school because you don't want to get frauded. You don't want to get 
caught up with 70% of the women getting divorces when I kept t- telling you that you guys have to marry women who are rich. You guys are the ones you're supposed to be marrying bitches and divorcing them. How many times you hear, every, once, every time you hear someone like Eve or Britney Spears getting sued in the court, you don't hear a lot about it. You don't hear a lot about it because you know why? They're real alphas. They knew how to play the game. The matriarch actually works for men, but you guys don't know how to take them to court and divorce the asses? Would they become useless? Women use men all of the time, 10 times more. They're winning the game. I can't believe this. I, I started hearing about Mikto and Red Pill in 2012. I'm like, what the fuck is this faggy, paggy fucking group called, okay? I don't even give a fuck about no Me Too. You don't get involved in that type of shit. Y'all trapped up in this motherfucking Red Pill and shit. Y'all Red Pill God and shit. I, I just roasted the fuck out of the Red Pill God. I roasted the fuck out of uh, numerous people. Uh, what you got, Mr. Good Bread Man? I'm like, this motherfucker got a yellow tooth and he think he was alpha. Speaking knowledge and shit. He wasn't speaking shit. He came to me. I got the red pill God coming to me. I got the red pill creator coming to me, getting upset with me, talking about, oh, and I'm looking at him like this. I say, you got any money to fight, motherfucker? Because I'm 5'7", I'm five, seven, five, seven and a half. I know I can whip a motherfucking tall people's asses because I did it before. And like, motherfuckers can't fight. I'm not trying to wrestle your ass. I'm trying to box, motherfucker, okay? <laughs> but you got a lot of pussy beta motherfuckers out there, pussy beta busters out there. They don't know what they're talking about. They want to be alpha so bad. They want to go to Kevin Samuels, but they don't want to come to me. Do you think I'm jealous of that? No, because those motherfuckers don't got no money. They'll pay money. A lot of beta motherfuckers are always paying the money. They don't know where to go. All right. I make fun of motherfuckers because they hoes. Most of them are hoes. I said, why are you paying that motherfucker? But where's my money at? And I'm talking about more real shit than he is, but they'll be biased motherfuckers. I don't really care about that. I got my money on the side. I ain't worried about that shit. But let me go to let me go to Ethiopia. I've already been there for two years. Let me go to fucking Cambia. And I got videos and shit. Oh, 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 and then they get popular. Then they want to start paying. No, I don't want your fucking money. That's why I ask you guys don't, don't, don't be subscribing. No money, no honey. So you understand the concept of no money, no honey? That's a man thing. That's, you're supposed to be using that. No money, no fucking honey. All right? And so I, I, I learned that shit from the pimps. And you guys don't want to relate that shit. And I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to give it some time. I'm not hating on you guys. I just don't like sensitive motherfuckers. I really don't like them. And when you try to spit some facts at them, they don't, they try to either they respect it or they don't. As I said before, I'm going to repeat it again. If she's not a virgin, you charge her to the game. And what kind of services are you offering her? Most of you guys don't even got no services like I do. Check out my credentials down there. I'm a fitness trainer, a babysitter, a masseuse, a rental boyfriend. I'm a virtual sexologist. I do all sorts of things on the side for women. Most of you guys can't contend with. But instead, I see you guys underneath the booty of crack of a cougar like Mr. Mr. Goodbread show. I'm like, you, you can't be hanging around women like that. You can't do that. Look at my wife. She's a virgin. I lost my virginity to her. Traveled to Ethiopia. Saw countless motherfucking bodies. I don't fuck use vaginas, babies. I'm a fetish gigolo. I get paid for my services. But now I got kids now. I'm trapped. I'm waiting for them to try to take my kids away. So <laughs> anything bad happened to me, I'm like, that's a positive to me. I feed off a of negative energy, dog. You don't want to you don't want to fuck with me. Don't you don't want to do that. I'm not human like that. If you kill this body, I'll just come right back. I just keep telling people all the time to open your mind, start learning things about Renaissance knowledge. Become esoteric, okay? Get out of the rat race with everybody's in the box. Okay, the other ra- there's some alien races out there who want to destroy humans, but humans procreate like within nine months. All right, is uh, humans procreate for nine months? That's why we exist. We're the middle ground. Okay, that's why we are not destroyed completely. But other than that, that's all I really wanted to say, you guys. You know what no money, no honey means? It comes from an alpha terminology, pimpology type terminology. And please understand. I'm not Joe Average Man. I'm not Joe Peter Pan. And if I'm wrong with anything, please ask me. Please tell me. Pull my collar. I pull your collar all the time. I pull Kevin Samuels' collar all the time. And I hope he takes some advice that I give him because he he already he complimented me in my videos. Hey, he came to me, so I don't care. You know, if you want to take it or not, again. What he what he should do to improve on his videos is try to give women what they should be doing, okay? Okay, with that body, that used the body of theirs, okay, what they should be doing is thinking about polygyny and sharing them fucking women and shit, you know, no, 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 there's no monogamous relationships when you already busted, 
No, no, no. I'm out of here. Peace.